How are we doing today, boys and girls? I want to welcome you back to the second episode of Storytime with Iron Wings. Today we will be discussing the Case Muskrat. This is a little pocket knife made out of chrome vanadium steel from the Case Knives Company. Um, the reason why this is another episode of Storytime with Iron Wings is usually because each one of these knives is one of my untouchables, one of a list of ten that I will never get rid of and never sell no matter how hard up I am for cash. The reason I will never sell this knife and why it's one of my untouchables is because this is the first knife I ever owned. The story behind this knife is that when I was 12 or 13 years old, I met my grandfather for the first time. We weren't the most well-off families, couldn't really travel, move around, do anything when I was growing up. So about 13 or 14 years old, my parents got a better job, we were able to uh, go camping, and I met my grandfather and went fishing with him for the first time. He got a look in my tackle box and saw I had this Cole Hagen, Culligan multi-tool from Walmart. If you've been to Walmart in their little camping fishing section, you've seen these. They have a green background. It's the same brand that makes, like, fillet knives, ro uh, fire forks, the roasting, hot dog roasting forks, skewers, that sort of thing. And he saw that I had this in my bait box, my tackle box and grimaced you could visibly see this disturbed look on his face that night at dinner he made his hamburgers hot dogs with whatever knife he was carrying i can't remember what it was because i didn't know anything about knives at this age most i knew was that i wanted a swiss army knife and a leatherman that was it uh, about six months go by after this vacation and i get a package in the mail instead of my usual letter from him you see this, my grandfather is a Marine Vietnam veteran who for the longest time only had a house phone and even then he would never pick it up. If you wanted to talk to him, you wrote him letters. So usually once, twice a year I would get letters on Christmas and my birthday. We'd talk back and forth for a couple of weeks and it would peter out. Well, my birthday when I turned 13 or 14, I got a box with a t-shirt in it and long story short inside this t-shirt that was made with like dye from chili peppers that turned it red was this knife and a note that said i saw that garbage you had in your tackle box something to that effect i can't remember the exact words you need a better blade than that this is the same pattern knife i carried when i was in vietnam your great grandfather got it for me before I deployed, and I wore it down to a toothpick with sharpening and using it. That amazed my mother at the time because I think she said that was the first time she had ever heard him talk about his experiences in Vietnam at all. When someone would bring it up or try to talk with him about it before, he would shut down. He would not voluntarily give up that information. He wouldn't talk with you about it. Nothing. If you brought up Vietnam, he just clammed up and he would basically give you the cold shoulder because that's how he processed with frustrate his frust frustration and anger so i got this knife when i was 13 and i carried it until i was about 23 or 24 not for the fact that this was my only knife really i got every year after my 13th birthday i got a knife and a package from him a pocket knife and they were always case case knives like this one um and because this was the first i carried this while i was in the army for my entire time in service and i carried it every day this was the one object that no matter where i was no matter how forgetful or goofy i was you could always find this blade in my pocket after i left basic training in ait um i absolutely love this knife but around 23 or 24 years old I stopped carrying it. I was going to college, about ready to leave for my full four year up in Northern California, and I couldn't carry a knife on campus. So I left this in my safe, my gun safe at home with my parents. Even when I came back from college two years later, after graduating, I left it in the safe. I haven't carried it a single day since I turned 23 or 24. 
this knife saw a decade of dedicated service to me and it was as reliable as could be. But the reason I don't carry it anymore is because this is more of a cherished heirloom to me than it is a practical pocket knife at this point. The steel chrome vanadium, for those of you not in the know, is Case's kind of trademark steel, similar to the 420 high carbon steel is for Buck, or 440HC, I can't remember which it is. Um, chrome vanadium is meant to be very easily maintained, easily sharpened, without getting super rusty, and it holds a very keen edge but it doesn't last the longest amount of time and typically you need to resharpen it pretty frequently. Um, so because of that, I don't want to keep wearing this knife away and away and away. I put it in my safe not because I hate the knife, not because I can't use it anymore, because I outgrew it, simply because I want this knife to be passed down to my son. This is going to be the first knife my son or my grandson will ever own. And I'm set on that because this was the first knife I ever owned, and it was something that I will always hold dear in my heart. Now, onto the review section. As I've already said, the steel used in it, chrome vanadium, isn't the best, highest quality, but it will last, and it takes a very keen edge. I've already done this video once before, but my camera kept dying because of low battery, so I am redoing this, reshooting this. I already did the cut test. It cuts very well, but I'll redo it just so I can show you. Well, I could actually probably show you right now. This is the result of cutting the paracord, and while it's not the cleanest, it's somewhat clean. And that's meant to simulate seatbelt material. Um, blister pack plastic. Similarly, no issue, just cuts right through it. Cardstock paper. I mean, it catches a little bit there because I've already done this cut test, but it's curling with no problem. Um, taped cardboard, something you'll see every day if you work in a warehouse, just cuts it clean, but there's resistance to the small size of the knife. And finally, this is a zip tie test just because this is pretty much the one thing I cut more than anything else while I was in the army and I think it's pretty much something that everyone's going to experience having to cut at least once so let's so yeah a little bit of resistance and that shows you this one yeah this blade is already starting to develop a bit of a burr on it from that cutting so I'm gonna have to resharpen it after this but I haven't sharpened this knife in probably about five years I haven't used it in five, but the last time I sharpened it wasn't with the quality stones I have now. It was with this cheap, pretty bad quality sharpening system I got from Wish. Like those smaller, narrow stones that you would normally see for a tabletop system. Where you clamp the knife in and run the blade across the uh, knife. Or run the stone across the knife blade. So... How does it feel in the hand? Well, as you can see, it actually fits my hand fairly well. The design of the back strap is actually pretty nice. It fits right to the swell of your hand, the middle folding portion, I don't know what that's called. The fit, finish, and quality control is second to none. Case takes very high pride in their uh, craftsman's quality. Um. The design, I think it's pretty classic. Having two, blade, two blades is just kind of practical because you can use one, use one, use one, and you may not be able to sharpen it. So you have a secondary backup blade that you keep sharp at all times just in case you can't get to a sharpening stone. So what are my thoughts on this knife? Is it practical or something that you'll use day to day? Potentially, if this falls into your taste. It's not really my taste anymore because I've kind of grown out of the slip joint. I'm more... My everyday carry now tends to be um, the Mercator K55K, a couple other knives. That's just my personal choice. I prefer thinner, more traditional knives outside of the American slip joints. Um, what I think this knife fills as a niche is your grandson or your son's first pocket knife. That's really the best I think it can serve. 
This knife is absolutely fantastic for that job because it's easily maintained. You can teach your kid how to sharpen a knife on it, and it's quality, so you know he's not going to really break it because it's higher quality. The only knife I can see beating this one out for being your kid's first pocket knife is a Victorinox, a Swiss Army knife. So, to summarize, don't be a fool and just buy this tool. It really is fantastic, and while my story may not convince you, just give it a try. These aren't the most expensive knives, and yeah, the downside to case is they are a limited edition company. They come out with these designs, shut them down, and they don't produce them again, and they use that as kind of a Furby-type thing for the knife world. But the good thing about that is Case is pretty much the most universal knife you can get for someone. No matter who they are, what their tastes are, Case probably makes a knife that they'll like. Even my sister, who is not a knife person, who is not a weapons person, and my mother, who absolutely abhors knives and guns, carry a case. My sister carries a rust lock with blue Kirk Knight handles, and my mother carries a case trapper with a spay blade and staghorn antler handles, both of which came from me. So, yes, go out, buy this muskrat for your grandson or your son's first pocket knife. It's worked well for me. I carried it for three years in the Army and used it every single day. I carried it for four or five years before that and a couple years after, and it saw use every single day, and it's still here which is more than I can say for prices of a, uh, knives of a similar price that I got from the PX or the shop at. This is just something that will always hold a special place in my heart, and while I can try to be impartial and tell you the bads to this, which there are some, you know, the steel's weaker, the design isn't perfect, because t like every pinned blade knife, they tend to loosen over time and get side to side and front to back wobble when they lock up. But... Really, that doesn't matter when it's your kid's first knife. It's something that's always going to mean the world to them, and it will probably be something they carry with them the rest of their life, regardless of the quality or what you think. Because it's not the knife that really matters. It's that connection and that passion that shows, okay, I love you, son. I love you, grandson. You're responsible. You're going to become a man soon, and you're responsible enough to own a knife. So yes, buy this and just enjoy life in general. Appreciate those that are near to you and reach out to them. Let them know you love them. Until next time, this has been Iron Wings 3187 signing off. God bless and thank you for watching.